Yeah, it's relatively mild. Still got my warm coat on. Look at that blue sky again. Sun beating down. So, give Russia her morning run. I say nobody on the site, so she's off the lead at the minute. You see the grass. Um, do you remember yesterday's video, the last video there? So, once I've given Russia this run here, now, oh, there's a, a kite up in the, uh, you can't, you won't, you won't be able to see it up in the sky. Uh, give Russia this run now, then I need to go and fill up the petrol cans, the mower petrol cans, um, they're all empty, so I've emptied those into the two mowers, and then I need to nip down to Skeggy, um, and go and buy some cleaning products for, uh, for the site, we're getting a bit low in the cottage and things like that. So I'm going to actually uh, drive off the site. I've not actually driven off the site since I've um, since I've been here. We're having a whittle in a different spot, Russia. Hey, good girl. So definitely a lot milder. Uh, that that wind yesterday was bitterly cold, like icy cold. Russian only has a whittle here. Uh, so yeah, so all being well by close of play today. Um, I'm going to um, sort these mole, well, not sort the mole hills out, but scoop up the soil on the mole hills all being well, and get the um, the rest of the seasonal area on its first um, long grass cut. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to rain. Look how look look at the the weather is absolutely. Look at this. There's a bit of a breeze blowing over. Um, but yeah, look at the sight. Isn't it beautiful? So again, if you if you're new um, and you've, you're not familiar with where I'm working, this um, the site I'm on is an adult-only site. There's no children allowed on the site. Um, in a place called Mumby in Lincolnshire, it's blissfully quiet. Um, it's sort of halfway between uh, Mablethorpe and Skegness, uh, but very very quiet. And the, amaz the most amazing thing with this um, with this site. Let me just show you one of the pictures again, if you. If you're a new subscriber or a new viewer so this is one of the pictures here and they are absolutely massive so you've got plenty of space for your car here at the front um, and then if you've got a caravan or motor home it doesn't really matter um, caravan here and then what's very unique about us we've got these big pieces of um, astroturf um, so you can peg out onto these so what, what that means, basically, if it's raining or anything like that, you've got no problems with mud coming inside your caravan or anything. So I have got to get a brush out. And we have got a little machine. We've got like an auto machine. These are rabbits I've been digging. And I do need to give all these AstroTurfs a, a brush. Um, Yeah, I've got more, more hills everywhere. So Killer, Killer Dave, do, do you remember Killer Dave from last year has been in touch about me moles? So he's got a way to deal with them. He may be coming to see me sometime next week to have a chat about moles. Apparently we're coming into a mole breeding system. Right. Gorgeous. And um, yeah, so if, the, if we now get a couple of... Um, Wet days or any wet days, obviously the toilets and showers all need a proper deep, deep, deep clean. Big long uh, runoff with water, obviously with legionnaires and things like that. So um, we're going to be uh, doing that. So all being well by the end of the week, next weekend, um, things should start looking dapper. We're into March, aren't we, in a couple of days. So um, yeah, it's going to look good. Right, uh, get Russia and get the car out and find the uh, jerry cans and hit the road jack out for an hour really strange as i say i've, not, I've physically not not been off the site since i got here i'm going to need to do a food shop early next week at some stage as well the rush is just uh oh no she's going this way oh <laughs> i think she's looking for um right russia we're going this way come on <laughs> Which is quite funny when Wendy had the cafe open, or Paul and Wendy had the cafe open last year. We'd sometimes take Rasha in, and Wendy would give her a bit of sausage. So I think she uh, she always thinks of the 
the, the, the cabin has something to do with that. There she is. Wait. Are you back in? Hmm? Are you back in? Are you, what are you doing? Say hello to people. Say hello to our viewers. Good girl. There we are. Right. Yeah, no hot water bottle last night neither. That's always a bonus. Right, so at this um, forecourt chain called Total Energies, and then the price of petrol now, 145.9, diesel 158.9. Look at that. Um, it's always been the cheap, one of the cheapest places around here. Right, jerry cans out. Right, Let me go so, all full, all full, all full, all full. Um, so I've now got plenty of petrol, so that should last oh, a good month, um, all being well. I'm sure last time I filled up them jerry cans last year. Do you remember when it was like, you know, was it about almost two pounds a, a litre? I'm sure that cost 60 quid or almost 60 quid. Anyway, that's cost 50 quid to fill those. So um, that's another job out of the way. Right, get me carrier bags now and nip to um, nip to Skaggy. All right, so I will back to the uh, back to the site and we've got a uh, well, we've got the big well, I call it the mower shed, the big shed that you've seen. We've also got um, quite a big double garage um, for storing things. So the minute. Um, what I'm doing is we used to historically have a few bits and bobs in the washing machine room, the dry room, uh, where our facilities are. Um, but because the cottage now needs um, cleaning, obviously, on each turnover, and there's bedding and things like that. So over winter, things have been stored inside the main cabin. Anyway, we're making some space and, um, yeah, getting ourselves a little bit more organised. Now the, now the warmest weather here uh, that we can start using um this space for um basically for cleaning products um and bits and bobs in connection basically with the cottage it just worked up a sweat just bought a maiden for um trying things uh, with the cottage the uh bedding and towels and stuff this this thing here look at that it's quite big quite nice um hanging it, it was shrink bloody wrap 15 minutes of un undoing Bits of plastic. I mean, absolutely unbelievable. Like quite literally, 15 minutes just to un un unpack that just to get the plastic off it. Bobbins. All right, so just scoops up some old leaves um, up near the toilet block. Uh, so that's the grass cuttings and compost heap, wheelbarrow and uh, molehills. Let's go and dig some of these out. Well, not dig them out, but get the soil off. All them. Right, so. We've got molehills throughout the site. We've got one here and one there and a couple here. But I think I showed you this pitch the other day. This one area here, for some reason, is where the mold are having a party or a mating session, I believe. Killer Dave. I'm going to find out a bit more about molds when I, when I see Dave. So this whole area, I don't know if you can see it. Molehill, molehill, molehill. Mole hill, mole hill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, scoop all this, or as much of this off, um, topsoil off as I can, this small hill soil, bring the wheelbarrow, go and store a, a bit of a pile over by the, um, by the compost heap because you can use this as um, um, like a seeding soil so it's fantastic to mix up with uh, grass seed, you can sort of mix it. Um, so we'll do that and then we need to rake it over and then we can mow it and that normally keeps the moles away, if I'm honest. Well, historically, that's what, what I did last year. But I'll see what Dave says later in the week when I see him. Molehill, molehill, molehills. Right. And there's a wheelbarrow full of it. So get, get some more and then go and get Now that's them. become one seriously big molehill. No worms, no grubs. Right, so that's come out of breath. Three wheelbarrows of molehill soil. Not like three wheelbarrows. So I'm just going to walk up to the uh, up to the shed now, get the rake, rake over what we can, and get the orange mower out. And I'm going to get this seasonal area 
finished off this afternoon. Right, so I've ended up having to get the Steger out. i belt on the orange mower has gone. So it has absolutely been hammered, even though that should have been replaced anyway there. Relatively cheap and uh, we fitted one ourselves a while back um, to do that. So for now, all the touring area, sorry, seasonal area is all cut. First cut. Um, and, and because it's so dry, we just need this, this breeze now just to keep um, to keep on. So it'll dry out the grass. So it's all looking a bit messy still. Well, this was this was so long. This could have um, could have been cutting hay. Um, so we'll let that dry out now. Hello, Russia. What are you doing, girl? Hello. What are you doing? You in your garden? Our grass needs cutting, doesn't it? What are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah. So. There's quite a lot of sods about and everything like that. But we'll let this dry out now. I've got a busy day tomorrow. Uh, and then gonna then start doing the touring area, give that a first high cut. No, definite definite progress. Whoa. It's to look good again, isn't it? And look at that there, blue sky again. Always blue sky with the nurseries. Never anything else. And you'll notice the wood, um, not far from the site, has been um, coppiced and uh, trimmed down and thinned out. So it's quite good to see some maintenance going on by the farmers. Right, okay, I'm gonna... Uh, what to give Russia like oh sorry molehills molehills that's where we were wasn't it so these are all right down flattened off here and what we'll do as I say give that a couple of days and all being well killer Dave we didn't manage to kill the wasp Dave the wasp um he's gonna come and give some advice on whether we need to um combat the mole problem but it's all fine and dandy isn't it looking great beautiful and blue sky once again and what we're going to do before i forget uh close up the air uh, Close up the mower shed door, not far off sunset. Uh, close this down and then go and get Rash. Unbelievable weather. Look at the fields over here. Russia is bounding with energy. I don't know what, uh, what's up with her. She's just, she's like a little racehorse bombing about, aren't you, Rash? So these uh, grass pitches we've got here, these aren't too bad uh, grass-wise. Um, and the main touring area, to be honest, isn't isn't too bad. I'm not too sure whether it's uh, different grass or grass seed or whatever on the seasonal area. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's another another few days worth of grass cutting. Right, I think I'm going to halt this video here. Um, just another day and I say sun's starting to set, starting to chill off now to be honest. And if you're new here, thanks ever so much for finding the channel. Don't forget you can subscribe down there below if you want to. And um, yeah, look after yourselves guys. Tune in for the next one and see you soon. Mm -hmm.